What it do, C fam? It's your boy C Win. We back at it with another light, slight video, man. Look, in today's video, y'all, we're gonna be popping the hood and seeing what's inside the old catch can, man. I haven't checked it, y'all, in over a thousand miles. Probably been like twelve to fifteen hundred miles, to be completely honest, y'all. I never checked it. I never really bothered to check it. I know that you know what I'm saying it's gonna do its job. All right, so we're gonna see how much oil is in there, man. We're gonna talk about future upcoming mods for the car, right? And what y'all want to see? I know I made a post about that already, but. You know, I'm gonna just speak a little bit more in depth pertaining the car and the upcoming mods and what we got going on and all that, right? So look, y'all new to the channel, make sure y'all like, subscribe, comment, man. All that good stuff, bro. Let's get to it. What it do, C fam? Yes, sir. So as y'all can see, man, we got the car. Uh, just give y'all a little walk around the car, man. Got the side markers that we just put on. You know, uh, I'm at the motor pool right now. I can't disclose too much information, man. Supervising the soldier right now. Uh, but yeah, just wanted to make a little light, slight, quick video, man, about the whip, about this oil catch can too, y'all. So we ended up installing the oil catch can, man. I don't remember exactly at how many miles, but set in like 4,400 miles, y'all. So I'm pretty sure it's been like a thousand miles since we've, you know, checked the oil catch can and all that. I had put the, the hood open just so the engine can cool down, right? You obviously don't want to touch the engine, touch the oil catch can while the engine is hot all right y'all so i'd say it's been at least a thousand miles y'all since i've checked it i've never checked it before so this will be my first time checking it y'all so let's just see where we at man i'm curious i don't know how many miles or how many how much oil this thing got but i'm really curious man because like i say y'all i never checked it so i'm pretty curious man Ooh, i'm scared boy Hold on, boy. Oof. So as y'all can see, man, like I said, it's been about a thousand miles, bro. It's hard for y'all to see, but yeah, man. So all this right here, just imagine y'all if I didn't have the oil cash can, bro. Look at all this oil, man. Imagine y'all if I didn't have the oil cash can, all this oil would just be going right back into my supercharger, man. So as y'all can see, this thing really does its job, man, 100%. Like if y'all don't have an oil cash can, man, even if y'all sitting at, I don't know, 5,000, 10,000 miles on your car, it don't matter, man. Look, it's better to put this on late than to not put it on at all, man. Cause yeah, this, is, this right here is really gunk, bro. Bad oil, man. I think my oil life in my car is sitting at like 30 percent so me i'm the type y'all like i'm not gonna get an oil change of my car until um the car tell me to all right the car is smart enough the car knows when to get an oil change when i should change the oil all right this right here is just filtered out bad oil so like i said man look if y'all want one of these jlt um the cheapest on the market man uh billet technology do charge your arm and the leg but you can get them customized all right i believe this one is only black I don't know if they have any other colors besides black, but I got this one on Amazon. Link will be in the description, man. They have them for Scats, RTs, Track Hawks, Demon Land, any kind of car, bro. All right, y'all. So like I said, man, it's been about a thousand miles. All right, I don't really drive the car too hard, right? It ain't too, too crazy. All right, y'all. So yeah, man, just wanted to give y'all a little light, slight update, man. But yeah, so I'm gonna dispose of this oil somewhere somehow right look at the mountains man man this is my view every time i go to the motor pool y'all mountains is just ridiculous man jeez i love fort carson man we got two years over here maybe three if we really want to but yeah man this thing definitely does its job yo i'm really pleased with it man like i said i installed this and the car was kind of sort of brand new i think i had like like i don't know i was in hawaii i forgot how many miles i had y'all um, if I said it in a video of me installing this, bro, somebody please let me know. Probably had like 2,800 miles, maybe. So now we at like 4,400. So it's over a thousand miles, actually, man. And as y'all can see, don't have that much oil in here. I probably say it's like halfway. Probably halfway of this thing, y'all. And this thing is pretty big, man. It's a whole lot of oil in here, y'all. 
So yeah, I'm gonna dump this out, man. And yeah, we finna get back to it. RC fam, so we did manage, man, to clean this thing out. Um, it's not the cleanest, as y'all can see, little residue or whatever around the ring, but that's fine, man. Um, as long as the overall thing is clean, right? So all we gotta do now, man, is put this thing back on, and then yeah, we should be good, man. We should be good to go. So it is a little hot still, y'all. Just a little bit, not too too crazy, right? So. Yeah, it's pretty hard to put this thing back on y'all with only one hand. So with that being said, man, um, I'm gonna get back to y'all once it's on, yeah. <laughs> All right, and voila, y'all, it is back on. So boom, like I said, y'all, um, this thing is on. And yeah, we good, man. So, yep, just wanted to, to show y'all, man, the oil catch can actually does work. And I wanted to let y'all know how much oil is gonna be in there after i guess like a thousand or so miles all right so i would recommend y'all checking your stuff every 500 miles man you never know maybe some of y'all race maybe some of y'all drive really hard right maybe you know what i'm saying me i don't really drive too hard i do push it from time to time but as y'all can see man over a thousand miles i haven't checked it and it's only halfway all right i'm not telling y'all go 2000 and check it no i recommend every 500 miles man y'all check your old catch can make sure it's not all the way to the top make sure it's not overflowing make sure none of that all right so yeah man but yeah y'all so as far as the mods on the car man future mods to look out for y'all i will be getting me a front splitter man it probably won't be one with the rods i just want like a, a front bumper lip right to protect my front bumper and stuff and to contrast well with the white that'll be one thing um comment down below too y'all hold on let me close my my little hood right quick so comment down below y'all should i keep this black wrap on man i really want some stripes i don't know what color stripes i don't know what color i want to go with the car i don't know if i want to do the white with the red stripes or the white with i don't know a crazy color stripes man so i don't know i want like another look on the car y'all i know i did say i wanted to wrap it and all that but obviously stripes is is cheaper than a wrap obviously y'all <laughs> and I, like i said i'm not the richest person y'all so i just want like a different look on the car man i want the car to pop right now it's nice y'all it's subtle right with the black hood roof and a black trunk y'all but at the same time like i said i definitely want like another look it's good to switch it up y'all from time to time so comment down below should we keep this black satin look man right here on the top and a trunk or should we just i don't know take it off and then get some stripes that go from the rear bumper all the way y'all to the front bumper all right because that's what i'm looking at doing definitely want like another look i said red y'all because you know we already got the red brake calipers you know so it's only right put some red stripes man probably like a gloss red you know what i'm saying so that thing will pop for real like crazy so yeah comment down below like i said y'all front splitter is definitely coming man probably from next gen speed shout out next gen speed man uh they got the side skirts as well um and then that's really it to complete like the exterior looks of the car y'all i don't really have too much mod wise that i want to do to it i want to do like the interior uh what is it the headrest lights well the rolls royce lights the lights that'll be up there i want to do those too y'all um i'm not saying we modded out already but performance wise i'm not i don't plan on doing too much to it some people say look i should keep my stock air intake because it, it can really do a lot for the car i don't think dodge or chrysler whatever would put an intake on there that wouldn't try to squeeze out as much horsepower as possible if i do add another intake it'll probably just be for the sound i don't think it'll give me too much gains performance wise probably not gonna do it um but yeah i definitely want some catalyst mids so comment down below if y'all know a place that sells catalyst mids i tried to check on jba they didn't have any for this car so it's hard man like the higher you go up in horsepower y'all obviously the, the harder it's going to be for the mods and the more expensive it's going to be for the mods whenever i had my dodge charger rt and even my challenger v6 yo i went crazy with the mods because it wasn't that expensive it wasn't as hard to find now with this thing they still coming out with mods and they trying to figure stuff out so yeah comment down below man where can i get some catalyst mids um and yeah also would y'all want to see stripes on the car and comment down below what color man if y'all want to see stripes on the car comment down below that and the color man please because yeah i want to know y'all input man i definitely try my best to listen to y'all i try my best to hear y'all out and everything man so yeah that will probably conclude this video man boyfriend to get off for extra duty not me 
the soldier I was with was on extra duty. So yeah, come on, man. I'm not a troublemaker, nor is that soldier, man. He just made crazy choice and you know, we just got to deal with it. But yeah, <laughs> look, man, I appreciate y'all for stopping in. Y'all new to the channel, baby. Make sure y'all like, subscribe, comment, man. It's damn, whatever day it is. Uh, but yeah, I'll holler at y'all on the next one, baby.